Hi, this is Giovanni Cerulli from IFRES CNR Italy. I'm the instructor of the Timberley course on machine learning using Stata. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to run a machine learning regression in Stata using the command I produce RML Stata, which stands for regression in machine learning in Stata. Uh, if you want to access the um, help file of this command, you can type help r underscore ml underscore stata and you can find all the information to apply it. In particular, this in the model type, you can see the models, the machine learning models that you can run, in particular the elastic net, tree, random forest, and bugging boosting nearest neighbor neural network and support vector machine. Okay, in the example I'm going to show you, I consider the prostate data set. In this data set, we are interesting, interested in regressing the uh, log or the cancer volume on a series of uh, predictors, including prostate-specific antigen, prostate weight, patient age, and so on. Okay, it is very easy to run this regression with data. First of all, we are going to clean everything in our workflow uh, session. Then I set my directory in the output folder that will contain all the results. And I set the learner I want to use. In this case, I want to use a uh, near his neighbor. I'm going to open up the data set which is the prostate.da and then I set my target variable which is L cabal which is the log of the um, a, of the cancer volume and all the other predictors in the global X. Okay? Then I'm going to generate a split of the data into a training data set that will be the data set of which we fit the model and also we validate the model for finding the optimal hyperparameters and finally a testing data set. It's an 80% 20% split. I run this and I have now uh, divided the, my data set randomly into two data sets. The first one, which is also larger, will be the data training. So I'm going to save it in a specialized data set called data train, right? I do the same in this case for the testing data set and I'll save it as a data test. Finally, in order to compare in the test data set, the prediction with the true value of the y, I generate uh, another uh, data set called test y, containing only the true y in the test data set. We are now ready to run our model. First, I use the data training and I load it. And then I use the command rml stata. The main inputs are the y, the x's, and the data test. And of course, the learner I'm going to use that in this case has been uh, uh, chosen as the nearest neighbor. And the main outputs are in the in prediction containing basically all the, the in sample prediction of the model, and uh, uh, the out pred, which is in this case, the out-of-sample prediction, those in the test data set. Then I have also a data set that will be generated called CB containing the cross-validation results and of course I can also save the graphical representation of the cross-validation optimal tuning. I'm going to run this just with a click and I want to see what is going on in Stata. As you can see, Stata is working, but what is working, in fact, is Python behind Stata. 
because this is a wrapper of Python scikit-learn platform for machine learning, a, a, a machine learning analysis using the um, Stata 16 um, interface uh, uh, tool for uh, for uh, making Python and Stata able to speak to one each other. As you can see, I find in this case an optimal tuning parameter that for the nearest neighbor is the number of neighbors at the index 52. If we want to, and we find here the test accuracy and the training accuracy. As expected, the training accuracy is better and more optimistic than the test accuracy. I can further explore the results by running the e-return list. In the e-return list, I find exactly some of the further relevant information, the optimal number of neighbors, the test accuracy, the uh, train, training accuracy, the best index, and the standard deviation of the test accuracy. As you can see in this case, the test accuracy is not very nice, but it's just an example, this one. And then, as a, um, because this is a nearest neighbor with uh, a kernel, we see that the uniform kernel has been selected as optimal. Okay, now that we have all this information, what we can do is to run a plot to see the in-sample prediction. So I use the in-pred data set that has been generated here, right? And I run just a plot. As you can see, this is the main result in which you see the actual data and the predicted in-sample data by the nearest neighbor. Here is indicated that the, learn, the learner use is the nearest neighbor. But probably more interesting is looking at what is going on in the uh, out-of-sample uh, data. So in other words, in the test data set. So I open up the outpred, which is the output of this option. I run it. And finally, I get this. Even in this case, the results are not extraordinarily nice, but anyway, they are well visible and understandable. Okay, this is pretty old. If you want to know more about this, I suggest to you to go to my web page, where at the Machine Learning with Data page, you can find uh, an example that is going to explain also uh, what is required in Python in order to run exactly this commands and to run an example which is pretty close to the one we ever run in this demonstration. And uh, I really hope that you enjoy this demo and uh, I look forward to seeing you attending our course at Timberland. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you also for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.